There you go. Good morning to you, buddy. Good morning. What a nice morning. I think it's going to be a nice day. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be. We're going to make it one. I have to be in Arburg today. Nice and early. So I'm up a little earlier than usual today. And apparently so is every bird in town. It's gonna be a really nice week if the forecast holds up. So let's knock on wood. Hopefully that didn't just wreck it. But it's supposed to be up in the low 30s, uh, around 30 Celsius. So it's gonna be between, you know, well, let's say for the Americans, a, you know, 90 Fahrenheit, between 80 and 90 Fahrenheit this week so hot but not too hot just hot it's gonna be a great week for riding so today like I said we're headed into where we gotta go to Arburg pick something up up there not too sure if there's anything this afternoon there'll probably be something I usually do about two loads a day it all depends on which load it is and how far away it is and how long it takes Arburg is usually pretty quick once I get up there. The, the shippers up there are really good. They, they load up pretty quickly. They're always ready for you. And they always load it up very carefully. I like going up there. This is the progress on our front deck so far. I've pulled this up, up to here. we still got to do all of that yet. Hopefully this week I'll be able to get all of this out of here and I'm probably gonna have to rebuild this whole frame because this frame was built with non-treated lumber and the way they built it I showed you this already like you see how they They put this cap on the end in front of that And then this is resting on this piece here, which is all rotten obviously because the water gets in here and then it just sits in here And then over there they didn't take the front steps out you see so they're still front, like, because we'll have to leave them there too, because we can't move those. So we'll have to work around that. But I might want to rebuild this whole frame with treated lumber. We'll see. We, every project you start, you always know it's going to be a little bigger than, uh, <laughs> than expected. It's too early to think about this stuff right now, though. Yeah, let's, we'll look at this in the afternoon later. For now, I'm just gonna get the bike loaded up and uh, take off to work. You know, these saddlebags are really handy. Actually, I took them off this weekend to see what it looks like without it. It actually looks really good with or without it. They're just way too handy to not have them going to work because I can have all my work stuff in there. Another ride, and it's safe and sound. My truck is not in its spot, you might have noticed there. That's Roy's truck. That's Roger's truck. My truck's around the corner. I hooked it up yesterday already so that I could just jump in and go today. Do a quick pre-trip. I pre-tripped everything yesterday, but obviously I'll just double check everything today. Make sure it's good to go. There she is, warming up, getting ready to go. Just waiting for us. Oh, stop your grumbling. It's time to wake up. So grumbly in the mornings. Oh, it's a little chilly in here. Whew. Turn the AC off for now. We're gonna need it later. All righty, all right. You guys ready? Well, you know the routine. Trailer's already empty, checked it out yesterday. Lights are all working, but I'm gonna walk around again for your benefit. So you can see that I'm not lying to you. So why would I lie to you? All the tires have been filled with premium summer air. Wonderful. 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 Now the back axle is lifted because I'm empty. Now one thing you gotta be careful of when you lift the back axle on these trailers and other trailers like it. You see how uh, close it is up here? And these wheels do touch the ground sometimes and they spin a little bit when they do, when you go over bridge connections and stuff. 
these on this trailer, thank goodness, have a stopper there. They put a bolt in there to stop it. Some of the trailers, this thing actually pushes forward and actually touches the tire. And when the tire hits a bridge connection or something, tire starts turning and this actually digs into the tire, defeating the purpose of lifting the axle to save the tires. That uh, at that point you're lifting the axle to destroy the tires. So you got to be careful on these lift axles. Make sure that these cannot touch them when they're up because that defeats the whole purpose. Wrecks them even faster that way. You may as well have just left them down. Would have lasted way longer. Yeah, you get what I mean? Make sure it's all tight. Rollers are right to the back here. I'm going to oil them all up nicely when we get there to the back. All of these are locked in place, locked in place. Ah, man, not done very well. I'm gonna try to redo this a little bit here. Give me a minute, give me a minute. I know I can't get a really good angle for you, but I wanna try to get this Velcro. A little bit better in place. It's, it's so tough, cause they, they don't quite fit properly. The top of, Hmm. Yeah, I guess it's as good as we can do it. Man. Okay, well, it is closed and it is secured, so it's not like it's gonna go flying all over the place and cause any damage or scare little old ladies behind me. You don't want to do that. That's not nice. Yeah, this trailer will need to be uh, refurbished just a little bit on the top there soon, but you no. Know, not a big issue, it's pinned in here. I'll just make a note of it. Looks like I'm uh, a little too much of a chunky hunk to get through here. Is that a thing? All the lights are working. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. plate light, working. Friendly Manitoba. That's our slogan. It doesn't have to be true. It's just our slogan. Alrighty, we're all set. Set to rock and roll. Let's roll on up to our bird. Say hello to our friends there. Double check our trailer's not gonna fall off on the way. Okay, you guys watching? And I'm gonna spike the brake. And it's attached. Yes! So much better when it's attached. We're gonna go out the back way. We don't have to clog up the front then. It's gonna be a good day. Oh, my windshield's dirty. Oh my. We're gonna have to do something about that today. Highway 59 northbound. We'll go around our perimeter. This guy took her kind of wide, eh? I wonder why that one. Well, it's probably a truck turning that way. That's probably why. Oh, and it's busy. Everybody's going to work at the same time. You see, and I'm already at work. Look at this car. Holy. Look at this thing. That's hardcore. <laughs> wow, he is serious. It was actually really nice riding into work today. Uh, the traffic, I, I went in earlier, right? Because I had to get an earlier start. And uh, the traffic was a lot lighter at that time. It was really nice to just relax on the road and not have people, you know, tailgating you the whole time. Because it doesn't matter if you're on a motorcycle, they'll tailgate you anyway. Look at this little blue car coming up here. Look, look at him go. That's awesome. Is that a Triumph? Is that what that is? All right, we gotta go. Look at this thing. <laughs> he was staring at you guys. I think he liked you. Or maybe he was wondering why the trucker had a big camera on his head. I don't know. All right, you gonna give her, bud? You gonna give her? That was your cue to go, bud. You were at the stop sign first. 
Okay, well, if you're not gonna go, I'm gonna go. Very soon here. All right, come on, bud. Come on, bud, give her. Give her, give her, give her, give her, give her. You're not gonna give her? Okay, well, you lost two chances now. I'm not giving you a third. I'm going. As soon as I can. After these cars. If he's not gonna go, watch. He's gonna try to go now when I try to go. That's how it always works, right? Okay, now... Oh, see, he's turning that way. That's why. See, if you had your turn signal on, I would have known that. And then why did you turn into the left lane? You see that? She turned here and went right into the left lane. Why? <laughs> oh, first thing Tuesday morning. So many questions. There we go, roll a little coal. That's always good first thing in the morning. Makes me feel better. Mm. Let everybody behind me know I'm driving an old school truck. to the truck we go to get our cell phone this is one of those shippers you're not uh, allowed to go inside you just got to go up to the door there and call them and of course I forgot my phone in the truck ha! of course I did of course I did come here you come here I need you come with me come with me there you go can't do my job without you and all your fingerprints. So 
that little piece up there is all we got in there from Marburg. I was expecting a full load up there. I never know what to expect till I get there. But this thing is going to uh, uh, Mansfield, Texas. Oh, that makes sense why they would throw other Texas freight on here. And yet there will be more than that. He's one itty bitty box. Oh, the way he's back all by himself. Oh, so lonely. He's gonna get the other crates, put them right up against here, and then he's gonna move that up after. He just had to get that out of the way first, I guess. Uh, I don't know. He said he's gonna move it again. Yeah. Another day. You know, trucking is so much more fun in the summertime. Everything is more fun in the summertime. I just want to say this is the most organized toolbox or strap box, whatever you want to call it, that I have ever seen. Now we're just going to ignore this part over here, all right? We're not saying it's perfect. We're not saying it's perfect, but look at this. All nicely placed in there. These are all the D hooks on the bottom that hook into like these here. And up here on the second level, this is where they put the regular, a few of the regular straps just to keep them separate from the D hooks. Now, all we gotta do is just clean these up a little bit here and uh, work on the progress that was already made. But it's just one strap by the looks of it here. Whoever did this, Trucker Josh stamp of approval. That is amazing. I like seeing that. It restores your faith in drivers. If you're wondering why I make a special comment about that, usually when I open these uh, toolboxes here, it's just an absolute unorganized mess. Everything's all mixed together. Chains are on top of everything. You gotta practically take everything out before you can get like one strap out or it's all unorganized, but this one is nicely organized and it looks like someone actually took a lot of time to neatly place everything in here. I try to do that too when I have the time and have the trailers, but whenever they come back, they never look the same. And, and this one looks amazing. Special comment right there, just a special thumbs up. No idea who did that, but if you're watching this, that's awesome. And there we go. We still got about 13, 15 feet on the back here yet. I'd say 13 just to be safe. Fourteen feet. Measured it out. Fourteen feet left. I'll have to let them know that. They're probably gonna want to stick something else in there yet. All right, we got it in the loaded lineup. How much are you willing to bet that I got the landing gear right over the concrete first try? All right. Place your bets. First try. Come on. <laughs> yeah, not perfectly centered, but we're on the concrete. So did you just lose a bunch of money or what? I accept PayPal. <laughs> nice. I'll let you keep your money this time though. It wasn't really a fair bet. I didn't film myself backing in here. You didn't actually see me do it in one shot. I could have wiggled back and forth and just said I did it in one shot, but you're lucky this time. You, you, you can keep the money. Next time though, I'm serious.
All right, and with that, the air conditioning also turns off, so we need to get out of here. Let's get out there, let's get on the bike and get some wind in, wind in our, uh, some wind in our hair, so to speak. Oh, it's hot out there. Oh, nice. Ready? There you go. Let her warm up for a couple of minutes. Won't take long in this heat. Always works better when you unlock the doors first. We're in the wife mobile. I keep talking about how hot it is here. It's actually not that hot compared. Out in Kamloops, British Columbia, you remember that, we've been there many times, right? The temperature there is 49 degrees Celsius right now. What's that in Fahrenheit? I don't know. Pretty close to the temperature of hell, I think. Pretty close. I know Washington and Oregon are super hot right now. It was 110 Fahrenheit or something like that. So it's hot here, but it's even hotter there. I can't imagine what that must feel like. So Britt and I, neither of us want to make food tonight, so I'm on the way to Little Caesars. <laughs> Sweatpants, pajama shirt, flip-flops and all. Feed me. So hungry. So hungry. I wasn't joking. I'm a sight for sore eyes, is that the saying? I don't care. Give me my pizza. And I guess we're not gonna get any anywhere on this tonight. Maybe tomorrow after work. If not, then on Thursday for sure. I have Thursday off. Thanks for watching today, everybody. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up. Helps me out a lot. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see more of in the vlogs. I'll try my best to include that. I hope you guys have a great day. See you back right here tomorrow morning.